Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the Combine feature in Fusion 360. So as you can see on screen, there are four activities okay, or challenges where we're going to either introduce or develop your existing knowledge using the Combine feature. So we're going to start off by looking at the Join, the Cut and the Intersect. So that's the basic functions of this feature. And then if you check out my other videos, you'll see we'll have a look at creating two different types of molds, okay, using the combine feature as well. So if you would like a copy of any of the completed models, okay, please check the link in the description below and we'll jump straight into Fusion. So what I've created on screen is a simple cube and a ball or sphere shape. And I've created that by going into create create a box and create a sphere. So that's what I've got on screen. And what I've done is I've moved the ball shape, okay, so it interacts or intersects the cube. So what we're gonna look at is to develop our understanding about the combine. So before I do that, just to show you, if I apply a shell and remove this face, what I've done there, just to show you is that I've got that body and that body and they are separate bodies at the moment. So when I apply a shell, it is only applying the shell okay, to that uh, particular body there. I could, if I wanted to do, turn that one on, I go shell, set bodies, that one there, three millimeters. And what we've got here, if I show you an intersection, section analysis is we've got a shell between that one and a separate shell between there okay so there were so those bodies are two separate bodies at the moment okay and if I just delete those two shells for now and then we'll go from there so if we go up to combine and you can find that at the top okay or if you scroll down under modify you can find combine here and what we're going to do is use some of these different options. So if you click on target, so target, I'm going to select the cube and the tool is going to be this ball shape. And then what you've got is you've got some different options in here. So if we start with the join, okay, the join, hence the name, will join those two bodies together and merge them into one single body. So once I click OK, you'll see this one body will stay here. Okay, unless I uh, use this option here. Keep tools is basically saying, do I want to keep the tool? So the tool is that sphere shape. Okay, do I want to keep that as a separate body or not? If I do, I will tick it. If I don't, okay, I'll untick it. So at the moment, I'm going to go untick and I want to join and I click OK. And as you can see, it's merged those two bodies into one. So now if I apply, say, a shell, Okay, what that's done, if we go up to sectional, it is not only shelled out that cube, but it's actually gone into that bore sphere shape as well, because they are now two, okay, those two bodies have been merged into one. Okay, so that shell is now affecting both of those at the same time. Okay, if I just click cancel, If I go back into this feature here, and I want those two to join, but I want to keep the tool. So the, the tool would be this spherical shape here. You'll see that body will be kept over here if I click OK. So what we've got is the original tool or sphere. And then separate to that, okay, we've got this single sort of body that we've merged together. Okay, so if you click on keep tools, it will keep the tool so you can use it later on. Okay, so that's what that option is in there. Okay, once again, I've got these two shapes on the screen. So we've got cuboid and we've got this sphere. So this ball shape. Okay, so what we're going to do now, again, is go up to combine. And we're going to select target body. So target body is going to be the cube. Okay, and the tool is going to be 
the spherical shape. Now this time we're going to go cut. I'm going to cut that and remove that. So if we want to, again, we can keep the tool and that will keep the spherical shape. OK, or we can untick it, click OK. And you see what's happened there. It's this it's created this sort of um, it sculpted that shape. OK, remove that body. OK, from this body here. So we now we've created that sort of intersection between the two. And because I, I, I didn't tick keep tools, OK, that spherical shape has disappeared. If I wanted to keep it and I go edit, keep tools, you can then see if you go to that angle. OK, we've got those two bodies, OK, that have been used for cut, but then they are separate. And then, like we've done before, if you actually go to Shell, we click Shell, and we go to Intersection, or Cross Section, should I say. You see here what we've got, we've shelled that out, and then the Shell now wraps around, OK, that bit we've actually removed. So you can see here, OK, the result of that feature. This time, if I just delete this, OK, and delete that feature, again, we've got two separate, OK, bodies that we've not done anything. If I now go up to combine, so target body this time is going to be the sphere, so the opposite way around, and the tool is going to be, OK, this cube. And we're going to cut, and I'm just going to click OK, and leave that unticked. So what you can see now, is that it's removed, okay, that sort of corner of the cube away from, all right, that spherical shape. Because my tool was the cube, okay, and the body I wanted to affect was the sphere in this exercise. So now if we go back in again, we go edit, and we just click on keep tools, okay, it will, like we did before, it will keep that one and it will keep that separate body as well. And then if we go to shell this time and we go shell remove these particular faces, free mill, click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shell to this. And I'm going to turn both of those on. Again, do a sectional analysis. You can see the shell has affected that one. And then this time, we've got two sort of separate shells in that between the two bodies. OK, so that's how you can use the cut by selecting different bodies to target and different bodies to use as a tool. The last option we're going to look at under Combine is the Intersect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my cube and then we'll create a copy. So Control and C, Control and V. And just paste a copy of the model there. And we're going to use that later just to show you what's happened when we use this tool. So if we go into Combine, and what we're going to do, we're going to go up to Target Body. And we're going to select this cube, so the first cube, the original one. The tool is going to be this sphere. And normally if we click join, they will join together. If we click cut, that will subtract the sphere from that cube. But this time we're going to go intersect. Okay, and what intersect does, it basically looks at those two shapes and chooses the intersection between those two. And if we click on Keep Tools, click OK. And then what we've got here, if we hide this cube and sphere, and then we've got our cube copy, and if we actually turn all those on, then we separate and move them. So I'm just going to click on so the sphere here, just drag and move that actually out of the way like that. We can then move the what's called the intersection you can basically then see 
okay, what's happened and what's been created. So as I say, by intersecting these two shapes, okay, that is the actual result of the intersection. So that's how you could do an intersection using combine. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.